to another vlog happy friday it's friday for us at least it's like five o'clock right now y'all i worked i also did my hair i got a little bit cuter because i've been looking crusty dusty all week long um uh, so yes friday and today the plan is to well i hope all of you are doing well before i even jump into me hope you all are doing great hope you all had an amazing week hope you all had an amazing weekend because it'll be past the weekend when you see this i got java and juno here being good boys yes sir oh okay anyways uh hope you all had an amazing week and i had a little bit of a honestly it was so slow burning and like long for me work was so drawn out and really just drained me but i had a lot of good things happen this week and i am super proud of everything that i did uh, whether it be work or personal, I have some personal achievements going on. I hope to announce them soon, like super soon. But um, yeah, so the, today the plan is to go to Sephora because I just want to treat myself or reward myself. Anytime I do anything that requires brain power or just achieve something, I want to celebrate myself. So I'm going to go to Sephora and buy a couple things. One of them being a new Santal Vani perfume. Whatever else I get, I don't know. I've been influenced by a couple of like Sephora hauls. So we'll see. I really, really, really want the Topicals lip balm, but it says that it's sold out on topicals and sephora so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it anytime soon but yeah that's the plan today tomorrow java has his training session now we are gonna be able to go because it's not like any crazy weather uh now it did storm the other night i lost power excuse me sir excuse me sir excuse me sir excuse me sir you gonna wake all the dogs up excuse me sir uh it did storm the other night and i lost power for like more than a day it was crazy um but yeah was it more than a day technically it wasn't more than a day but like all night and into the next morning but yeah we should be good to take java to his training session i'm very much looking forward to it um he has developed a little bit more even during oh he in a window still y'all hopefully he'll be all right um he has developed a little bit more during the last week i've noticed him picking up on a lot of the training that i'm giving him so there is certainly hope he's definitely turning around a little bit he hasn't been potting inside and like i don't think i've cleaned up pee in like three days honestly so that's good and that's progression um and he's doing just a tad bit better outside that i noticed nothing crazy um but we're gonna keep putting in the work for him thank you for all your positive comments on java and even advice too also the comments from last week i was laughing so hard at what people had to say about the man at home since because he was really tripping like oh my goodness but it was so funny um but yeah that's tomorrow and then sunday i plan to go skiing with my friend selena so hopefully everything goes well and we can still go um you can't walk across my camera this one is like not afraid of anything he's just like the fearless one but yeah hopefully everything falls through perfectly so we can still go skiing sunday because i have been craving so bad like to go up there and go tubing and skiing like oh my gosh i've been wanting to do it since last year uh so those are my weekend plans and again i hope you all had an amazing weekend so let's go ahead and get into the vloggy vlog i'm gonna show you my outfit i'm already ready to go pretty much um because again daylight saving time and then kind of ruins things hmm, it is what it is it is 4 47 right now I'm hoping to, well, definitely not get home before nighttime, uh, but we're going to see what happens. I even got my jacket here. When I tell you I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. Like, the vlog was the last thing that I did. Jacket is on. Hair is super simple, y'all. It's just part from ear to ear in the way that you want it, and then put it in a ponytail, and then I wrapped it around and put it in a bun. Nothing too complex today. And then I did end up putting some dry shampoo in the back half of my hair. Now, dry shampoo really dries out my scalp, but I don't plan on wearing my hair down anymore. Um, <laughs> When I was talking about you turning a little leaf too, that's crazy. I just went ahead and put a little bit of dry shampoo in the bottom because I don't really care about it anymore. Uh, it's gonna calm me out, but it's. I I I I I I I never mind, never mind, whatever, never mind. Let me show you my outfit so we can go. All right, it's getting dark in here, so I might need to turn on the lamp. I'm not sure, but jacket is Zara, undershirt is TNA. It's the ribbed, cropped, um, t-shirt um pants are zara and then i'm wearing uggs right now but i might switch to my actually no i'm not i'm gonna wear these uggs because my feet are warm and they're comfortable so i'm gonna leave these uggs on but this is the fit i'm also gonna put on my coach um tabby wristlet the metallic one before i leave i need to tell y'all about my newest or latest like scent combination um floor was nice enough to send me their missing person perfume and y'all it smells so good it smells like I don't know how to describe this one. I, oh, on my A. Wilkie's archive page, I definitely described it. Um, but you can also look it up. It's like super familiar, very light and airy, but like also feminine and kind of woody at the same time. I don't know how to describe it, but definitely go look up the notes or go to my Instagram. I definitely described it. And then paired with um, Skin by the Clean Reserve, 
they're both like uh floral musk perfumes and they go together so well it smells like super feminine and like dainty you get a little bit of wood in there somewhere it's right up my alley if it's not vanilla like when i don't smell like vanilla i want to smell like that so that's what i wore today uh, let's go java because he loved to be in my closet for whatever reason let's go I have this extra drawer in my kitchen that is like completely empty so lately I've been coming in the house and just emptying my belongings into the drawer and then um, when I switch my bag I just grab it out of this drawer because it's like right near the front door uh, so I'm just going to throw my little bips and bops in and we can go. Nothing ever prepares me for how dark it be at 5 o'clock. It is 5.17 and it is pitch dark. The girl in front of me, oh she getting a little close, backing up. I was using her rear view lights for the... Uh, like but anyways we're at Sephora I also need to get some food so I think I might get some vegan pizza because I haven't had it in a minute I might also go to Target because y'all didn't tell me them poppies was that good they good they're good now them Olipops for instance this one I left in the car last week because I couldn't finish it that one's not bad but no I wouldn't buy that again that was the first one I tasted so I was like you know it's not that awful but when I tasted the cherry lime made poppy and the grape olipop i was like oh they really onto something um so no more olipops for me because in general i think poppies just taste better because you don't taste all that vinegar in there so certainly the cherry lime is what i think i'm gonna get tonight you know what the walmart got poppy because it's a walmart closer than a target but um certainly the cherry lime is the best right now in my opinion but i'm gonna try a grape poppy i'm only gonna get poppies by the way a grape poppy a cherry lime poppy and an orange poppy because everybody was telling me to get the orange um but let's go on sephora and vibe for a minute no because after last week i'm really eager to go in public to see who's gonna tell me to stop recording because i have never run into anybody that just told me to stop and i couldn't film so i'm like hmm i wonder what other places would do that to me all right so if you know you know this spray is so good there's nothing extremely special about it except for it's a little bit invigorating um but i got this 20 dollars one before and I'm gonna splurge and get the 50 because it's such a good spray to just have um, after makeup, especially. All right, I know what I'm over here for, I think, or do I wanna smell anything else? Because I barely have any um, Santal Vanille left and it's just such a staple in my, oh, I wanna smell more floor. Yeah, let's smell more floor and then get another Santal Vanille because it's just such a staple. In They have one called Mood Ring. It smells very fruity. Um, I don't, I don't like, I don't hate it, but very fresh and fruity. Wait, because this is so cute. This is only thirty dollars, and there's two mini ones in there. I'm gonna smell um, most for sun. I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like that very much. But that's cute. If you want both of those, y'all better go to Sephora. Thirty dollars. All right, I also just sprayed a little bit of this one. I've been hearing about this one. It smells very like milky to me, very creamy. I definitely get vanilla in there, um, but it smells very like, I don't know how to explain that. It smells creamy. I don't know how a smell can be creamy, but it smells very like, I don't know, thick. All right, so I have a perfume and my face spray, but I don't know what else I want. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything gonna call me. I'm like, I don't really need any complexion products. Oh wait, I need some more moisturizer from Glossier. Oh, what's this? These are 50% off? Cause girl, I want Forever Mood candles. All right, so Glossier literally makes my favorite moisturizer right here, the After Balm. And I'm already running out of my new one, so I'm gonna grab one more of these because they are literally just amazing. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna check out more stuff from Danessa Merckx because I am so obsessed with my serum skin tint. Y'all have no idea. This is like the best. I kind of want to try this, the Blurring Balm Powder. Uh, I'm gonna try it on my hand real quick and see what it's like, see what it's giving. Also, I've been seeing a lot of people use the Hourglass Concealer, so I kind of want to try it. Uh, I was watching Kyra Nicole. She said it creases on her, but she just wanted to give it a fair shot, and she kept buying it. Well, let me see what it's like.
finished in Sephora. I also got to smell that Sol Janeiro, however you say it, uh, the purple one. It's not bad. It just felt, smells very nutty to me. Um, I'm about to walk in the wrong entrance. I'm gonna get some pizza real quick and then I'm gonna go get some poppies. <laughs> Made it to Target. I'm in the parking lot and I was just thinking to myself like, wait, should I have gotten another Santal Vani or should I have gotten somebody wood from Floor? Because I technically have this, it's just running really low. And plus, I don't know if y'all remember the vlogs from the summer. Target has a dupe for this. It's called Jungle Santal by Finery, I think it is. And I have that too. So I'm like, should I have gotten somebody wood from Floor? Because somebody wood smell good. I just didn't spray it on myself. I sprayed it on like a little card thing. But now I'm like, why did you get this instead of a new one? Hmm. Maybe I'll go back. I feel like that's kind of a dumb decision to buy the same thing twice. But I am running low. Okay, how about this? How about we just buy somebody wood also? I feel like that fixes the, fixes the problem. Just get everything you want. Don't settle, okay? Um, I'll put that back in the bag. Let's go and target. I'll get somebody wood next weekend, I think. Oh, yeah. I also have to start thinking about stuff to get for the giveaway because we are at 19K. Like, I just checked. We're at over 19 right now. So, we're going to hit 20 pretty quick. So, I got to start prepping and preparing i'm trying to think about what i want to do i want to make another basket but i think i'm gonna just make two of them since we did one for ten thousand we'll just do two of them for twenty thousand and then i i, I kind of want to make them like even i don't know if it should be like a first place winner and a second place or just do the same thing for both instead of it being like a first and second place because like that's kind of dumb just like two baskets of my favorites and i'm like dang i don't even know i low-key would put the same things in them though because all that stuff is still my favorite stuff um, but we'll have to think about it. Maybe I'll get a coach bag or a Kurt Geiger or something like that to put in there. I don't know. We'll think about it. But let's go get some poppies. All right, I'm back here with the poppies. I'm going to get cherry um, limeade. And then while I was in the front in that little dollar section, I already have those cups, but they have pink, so I had to get pink. I already have this bottle, but they had pink, so I had to get pink. I'm not a huge pink girly, but these are real cute. Um, and then I just saw these trays for some drawers around the house. They're only like $2, so I'm going to get those. And then, y'all, I need to put y'all on. Poppies are good and all, but my brother just put me onto this sparkling soda water when I was like trying to ask him about which poppies he liked. This right here is so good. Oh my goodness, you have to try this. Y'all, I made it back home. Um, I did end up getting some food. I ate it off camera because like it was just extra crowded in there and I wasn't feeling the vibe. Um, but from Sephora I a lot of people are dimming me right now asking me if this is any good because I just posted on my story but it's good y'all it's good it's just the price is outrageous like it's $20 for the smallest one and this was 50 it's really good I like it as a setting spray and even when I don't wear makeup I like to put it on because it's like it's invigorating it feels really good and very refreshing but like you're not missing out on anything if you don't buy it like there's i mean it's special but it's not like earth shatteringly special some people probably would say different because i've heard from a lot of people that this is like a holy grail and you absolutely need it and they can't live without it type of vibe i can live without it it's just since the last one i have been sort of thinking about it because i love like a midday spritz on your face just like a pick me up type of thing so i just went for the big one because it actually runs out pretty fast or at least for me the little one did and then I got another Santalvani, like I said. And then just a refill on that same moisturizer. I was walking around Sephora and I really couldn't find what to buy. I kind of have everything. I mean, I know I have everything I need. But, like, I was just trying to find something new. But I couldn't really find anything for real, for real. But anyways, from Amazon, I got some new stuff. I got some new nail tips, some new gel polish. These are, like, browns because I was really wanting some brown gel polish. And then I got some more nail glue. And I got... Oh, some more like jelly nail, um, just regular UV gel polish also. Um, so I'm going to do some set, definitely using builder gel and regular gel tonight. I'll film it all for y'all and I'm going to go live to chat with the girls. And then of course I got my copy here. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I didn't show y'all. Showed y'all all the little Target stuff in the store, so nothing there. Um, but I'm going to change and then we can get into the nails slash the night. All right, so I'm wearing this cardigan. It's for Marshalls for anybody that is wondering, but I'm about to unbox some of these things here. Um, so I know what shape I'm going to go for. Actually, I'm going to show y'all a picture um, before I go live. I took a screenshot. Where is it? Here it is. 
I'm gonna do almond. I think I'm gonna do this design also. I don't know. It's like an ombre effect. I don't have a sponge for that, but I can just use an old, uh, old beauty blender. But I think I'm gonna use one of these nude colors in here because it's like a jelly type of gel polish, like the translucent jellies. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with one of these to be my background color. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, it gives, oh, no way. I should do this. I should put the paint on there and cure it to see what they all will look like. And now I can just hold them on my skin tone. Oh my gosh, these are cute. Look how cute these are. And very inexpensive also. I don't remember how much they were, but they weren't crazy priced. Not that color, that's like a white. Oh my gosh, I really should swatch them all. All right, I narrowed it down to one of these like pinky nude colors. I'm gonna just have um, the people on the live tell me which one I should do. And then these are the brown gel polishes that I got. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at these because I'm gonna certainly do either that or like a brown French tip because I've been wanting to do that. I just kept forgetting to get some brown polishes. Oh, the color is kind of on the cap. Oh my gosh, what a nice chocolatey brown. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So either a brown French, an abstract brown French, or like brown ombre, if I can pull that off. I'm gonna see if I can pull that off with a beauty blender. This is what, clear? No, white. Didn't know it came with white. Oh, it kinda has the color like through the thing. Um, and then these are the tips. Hopefully they work. If not, I have plenty of tips. These are like super long and I don't do long nails. So they're gonna end up being cut shorter, but these are relatively inexpensive too and have really nice reviews. So we gonna see how they actually work. If not, like I said, I can use the tips that I already have because we'll see. And these are straight. They don't have a curve to it at all. So I finished my nail. I ended up doing like an abstract uh, brown French. I've done this with black before and I've done it in a vlog before. So you can also reference that one if this one wasn't an amazing tutorial. Uh, I really, really, really like it. Um, it came out nice. Per usual, I've been missing an almond. So I did an almond. Then I did some abstract over here also. So these are the nails, y'all. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Uh, I, don't, I think it's like 9 o'clock right now. I've taken the dogs out for their morning walk already. Actually, it's like definitely past nine. It might be going on 10 right now, but I've taken them outside for their morning stroll. Um, so when I first got outside, there was a dog and two people and Java made a good decision, y'all. Like he started to bark at the people and then he quieted himself down and he just stopped and then he just continued on about his business. So I was like, good boy, good boy, good boy. Cause like he actually made that decision on his own to like not be reactive um and then in the later half of the walk he's seen some more people and then he just turned up but what i'm saying is like that's progression um 
and I can see a little bit of growth little by little. So he may grow out of his reactiveness, but I'm still gonna like get a trainer or take him to get trained. But that's today in a couple hours. So um, right now I'm just chilling with them and then I'm gonna put Java down for his morning nap. He is like I ten by ten type of schedule, okay? Um, so he usually takes a morning nap. He's already eaten his breakfast and everything. I didn't eat breakfast, so I need to eat breakfast. So the plan today is just to take him and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store because I'm gonna come back here and cook. Similar to last week, honestly. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to cook. No more chili for sure, but something like good. Cause it's like super cloudy and gloomy. It like rained yesterday. So um, yeah, it's like super cloudy. But I guess I'll think about it as the day goes on. But for right now, I'm gonna do like a mini reset. Um, Cause I did a nice hard reset yes or last week. So um, right now, I'm gonna just clean up the living room slash kitchen area, make my bed, and then I guess put on a little outfit and we can go. super highly rated um so i definitely think they're gonna do a good job according to reviews and what i've heard just in general but i'm so excited also i love making my bed up i don't know what it does for me but it does something so special every single time i make it up and get it nice and crisp and tight i might look for a new comforter if i get done early enough because today the appointment with java is at two i don't even know if y'all can see me but today the appointment's at 2, so it's like, if I get done early enough, I might go to some home stores. But I do have to bring him back home. Because um, he is so reactive that he can't really go in public with me like Juno can. So that's not really an option, unfortunately. But if we finish early enough, because y'all know how it get dark. Like, literally in like an hour at this point. But if we finish early enough and I get my life together... I may look at some stores because last week did not go as planned uh, with rug gate because the man was so mad. So I still don't even have a rug. I'm not that mad about it because Java still has accidents here and there. We've been doing good for the last couple days, but he did pee on the floor last night. So our streak is gone, but that's okay because puppies are not perfect. So we'll continue to make it a better process. But I really want to live on a rug like so bad. My living room just looks naked on the floor, but I guess we'll see. I'm ready to get ready. I think I'm going to wear um, this orange set from Zara. I haven't worn it in a while. I think I'll do this because it's like it's nearly 50 degrees out today so I don't think I'm gonna wear a puffer but I guess this will do with some sneakers or whatever uh, keep it warm but like without a coat warm and like comfy for sure so let's put this on and then I'll redo my hair slash just the hair and makeup just like last week and then we can head out y'all I am ready I'm sorry I had to charge my camera um 
lately the battery life hasn't been doing amazing so i had to get ready off camera but i will show you uh like how i unwrap my hair tomorrow but basically somebody asked me last night how i wrap my hair when it's like this but basically i just circle wrap it from the back and then lay it over the front take my scarf off in the morning fix my edges and that's it also somebody asked me for a hair tutorial on this um i can take my ponytail out like in the morning and redo it i guess i can show y'all that but it's literally just a part from ear to ear putting it in the ponytail but um i have my outfit on i'm just about to see what shoes i can wear real quickly and then um show you my outfit i am currently wearing uh, oh you know what i'll probably just wear those gray new balance right there i feel like that's a good option i don't want to wear those high tops even though they kind of would match or these sakai's will also look really good yeah i'm gonna wear those sakai's or those gray new balance i'm gonna see which one look better real quick yo i literally have the most unserious dogs like every time i sit down they just jump up behind me just to do this like instead of just doing this on the floor they do this on me like every single time i try to walk anywhere they're playing at my feet anytime i try to sit anywhere they're playing on top of me i take it as a sign of love i guess but they are funny also java can jump now y'all like he has no problem getting on the couch he be trying to jump in my office chair to get on the desk like he got hops like he can jump he be clear in spaces too i'd be like dang you a little little for that but i guess not you gotta fall and i'm not saving you guys this time all right, shoes are on and tied. Let me show you my full fit. All right, I'm almost ready to go. I'm just gonna do some perfume before I do. I'm laughing so hard at y'all's comments on my silent perfume uh, review on TikTok. Like, that really got me crying, oh my goodness. That is so funny. I don't know why I want it to be so funny, but this smells so good. All right, anyways, this is my full fit again. Uh, sweatsuit is Zara. I will put the code on the screen. This is my unique low moon bag in cream. And then I'm wearing my Nike Takai's. Please ignore my rug. The way it just bends and scrunches up under the weight of the bed just irks me so bad. Like, girl. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, let's go because it's like we're about to be running late, but I'm still on time. So let's go. Java and I made it. Uh, I'm very excited for him. He's just sitting in the passenger like a good little boy. I'm very excited for him, but... Uh, we're probably not going to do much today. It's just an evaluation slash consultation, but I'm looking to schedule my first session very soon after this. Um, but yeah, let's go in and see how it goes. Um, um, I'm trying to be super intentional about it until he like, fully understands the concept and grasp onto it. And it's like, you know, fully there, but he's still young right now, so I have a little grace on him. But. Yeah, and, and, and honestly, in terms of the puppy stuff, I'm pretty lenient myself. Mm -hmm. However, I will say that it comes to a point where I draw a line in the stone, not, yeah. not in the sand, because right. it's in stone. Right, right. right. I, right. I'm strict with that yeah. line. I, I'm, I'm, late, I'm lackadaisical with the puppy stuff. I'm like, okay, yeah, you can do all that stuff. That's fine. You're a puppy. Right. Once you get to that line, puppy stuff's over. Yeah, puppy stuff's over. Yeah. yeah. So, so there's like, like a, like a sm there's a lot, like right now I'm kind of like dancing on that line of grace and like mm -hmm. discipline, honestly, because yeah. it really is important. So. Absolutely. And... Are right, y'all in the middle of the consultation right now? He is gonna actually go get his personal dog to see how Java reacts. We're gonna start like today, which is so cool, and it's just a consultation. But he really is so good, and I love his spirit and his energy. So I'm gonna set my camera up to let y'all watch.
so he just brought his personal dog in here to see how basically Java will react and what I was like talking about. And he wanted me to really keen in on like me watching him and his dog, like how his dog always keeps his eyes on him and like doesn't, you know, stray away from the owner, like who he looks up to. Um, they were like excellent, like that's a dream. That's really a dream, I will pay anything. But he went to go put Elvis, that was his name, away and we're gonna wait on him to get back. All right, so we just finished. Um, all in all, that really just drained me because I realized like just how reactive Java is. And you know, it doesn't take anything away from him. I still love him. And that's why we're here. I'm getting him the help he needs. But all in all, yes, that just drained me because there was just so much that I noticed that the guy was just bringing to my attention about him. And it did not leave me feeling discouraged at all. It left me feeling so freaking hopeful. I am so like overjoyed that these people can literally help me now talk is cheap y'all and he even said that to me he was like talk is cheap any trainer can sit here and tell you that they can do this that they that they can do that or whatever it's super dark um and i'm like right talk is cheap so he was like let me show you something he was like let me show you this let me show you that and he was showing me things that i think were very very beneficial for even day one and it really made me confident to be like okay i feel like this is going to be a nice little investment. So we got the gold package. It was $2,000. Um, but let me tell you, because they really, I think they kind of cheated themselves, if I'm being honest with you. I know you're here in 2000, you're probably like, girl, what do you mean they cheated themselves? But um, it's $2,000 for three private sessions, like three drop-off sessions. Um, and those are all a week apart. And then after that, you get three group classes per week for a year. A whole year of three group classes per week that is only two thousand dollars for a whole year of training like that is a good deal in my opinion so uh, that's what he recommended and that's what I got he said he's seen far worse dogs than Java so obviously that gave me even more hope um, all in all I am literally thrilled to just be able to help Java because I want him to be a good healthy confident dog who can do things with me and Juno now naturally Juno can do those things and I didn't have to enlist help and I'm very grateful for that but I want Java to be able to come with us to go to home goods to do this to do that to do everything without just barking his head off like that whole uh session that he, when he bought his dog Elvis yeah. out I couldn't even hear Java was making my ears ring y'all like it was just so awful awful and it made me even feel like dang like this guy is just like he, there's some reason why he's doing this and the trainer today he kind of summed it up as anxiety now it could be different it could be something else it could be anxiety I don't know um, but that's what he said in his professional opinion that it really was that is that he's anxious and he has to learn that people are not out to get him and there's things like that um, so honestly that gave me all the hope in the world and that is exactly what I was looking for when I go places and do things I look for or I I want to I search for how people make me feel in my spirit like God is bestowed uh, a lot of discernment and wisdom upon me so i use that in my everyday life for things like this or even small things y'all um so i try to use my discernment to to gauge what experience can be good who's talking whose talk is cheap to be honest with you and i really felt comfortable in my spirit that this is the right place for java to be um and to get this training so i am absolutely thrilled to get him enrolled i'm very much looking forward to it and yeah i am actually going to take him home and then enjoy a little bit of my day because when I tell y'all, the barking has been deafening me. I mean it. So I'm taking him home. Uh, I'm going to run to the grocery store probably, maybe a couple other places. And then I'm going to go home, maybe cook something. And then I'm going to call it a night because he is very overstimulated right now. He's probably exhausted. He took his morning nap, but he's been barking for like since we've been here. We've been here since freaking 2 o'clock. It's now 3.17. So uh, let's get Java home and carry on with the day. Y'all, I came back home to bring Java home and decided that I wanted to stay home myself. Um, there's not going to be any home goods marshals tonight because it's literally 8.30 right now. Uh, I took a nap and then I went to go get some tacos. So here we are now. Also, the unfortunate news is that the slopes are closed tomorrow so we can't go skiing like at all. Which makes me sad but I guess it is what it is. Um, we're going to go the weekend after next. So like whatever weekend that is. But I think I'm going to run to a couple stores tomorrow to do some things. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I got some chips and guac, so I'm excited to eat this. Hey y'all, good morning, happy Sunday. It's around 11.30 at this point. I'm about to show y'all how I do my hair, um, and then I'm gonna 
go ahead and do some makeup but on live this time since we're not able to go skiing we're just going to go to the mall today as girls do so yeah let me show you how i wrap my hair bro when did my hair come unwrapped <laughs> i didn't know it came unwrapped but anyways it don't matter it's still gonna be straight um so yeah i circle wrapped the back part of it and it comes out pretty much straight every single time my hair is trained to be able to wrap itself like you know and stay like that but i just circle wrap the back i am gonna redo my ponytail today i'm gonna put a little bit of water on it and slick it back up but um i'll show you how i do that nothing crazy you know i'm just gonna put some water on it and slick with a brush and re put the ponytail in and then i'm gonna put the little bunny bun in and redo my edges because they're like a little worn out but i'm also gonna use some um hold on i'm also gonna use some dry shampoo because my hair is extremely oily right now I have said in another vlog that I don't like dry shampoo and I don't because it makes my scalp dry but if it's in the back it's not really my problem. Uh, I'm not directly spraying it on my scalp in the back but usually if I have my hair down and I spray it all over then it becomes an issue but it's just the back so it's okay um, because it's so oily like so oily it's just clumping up together uh, so I need some dry shampoo to make this style a little bit better. Um, but yeah let's I guess let's I'm gonna put this back part in the ponytail first so I can just work with the top part, which this is kind of cute. Or am I tripping? I kind of want to do that now. I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but that was that's kind of cute to me. I'm gonna take this little teeny tiny rubber band out and I'm gonna put that in the back and hold the back hair away so I can just work with the top. Alright, so I'm working with the top. My heart, my my heart, my hair is already parted like from ear to ear in the back. Uh, I'm sure y'all can make a part, but it's already probably like that. I just made sure I put my ponytail a little bit further back this time. Because every time I do like a half up, half down style, I always do my ponytail like too far to the front. So I'm trying to just put it a little further back each time I do it. Um, but I'm just going to take some water on my hands because there's already some product on my hair. And by the way, I use the Gummy Professional Styling Wax. Is this what it's called? Yeah. The red one is so good in my opinion. I'll link it in my storefront, but I ended up getting mine from the beauty supply. So I'm just rubbing some water over that because I don't want to add too much product. Because there's already some in there. So all it really needs is some water to remake that emulsion and just kind of stick to each other again. Now I'm going to take my slicking brush and go ahead and just start the process again. Now when I first did this, I didn't slick it as much because... It was like my first day putting product in it, so it kind of just did what it needed to do. But now I'm just re-adding some water because this is my third day wearing this style. So I just wanted to look cute again. But I'm just going ahead and going to put that in a ponytail now. All right, now my little ponytail is in and pretty much to the back. Y'all, I saw this hack on TikTok. Somebody said, you see how I got a little bit of humps and lumps in my pony? Somebody said if you put stockings over the part that you want to lay flat, it lays flat. And I've been doing it for two days and it works so well. Like these lumps and humps and bumps won't be there when I take my stockings off. So I just cut me up some stockings. Sorry, the dogs are moving the tripod. Also had to close the door so I can trap Java in here because I need to be able to keep an eye on him. But I cut me up some stockings. So what I'm going to do is just stretch it out a little bit and lay it over the part that I want to lay flat. And trust me, it works so well. Well, I'll leave it on for like 10 minutes or less. I don't know, but it works. Y'all should try it. All right, now that they're all combed up, I'm gonna use that same gummy, I look crazy. I'm gonna use the same gummy professional styling wax. I'll just take a little bit on the back of my nail and then just kind of put it on there. Uh, now there's already product in my hair, so I'm just taking a little bit and then I'm gonna slick the rest with like some water. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of water on my fingers also and just go ahead and get that in there, create that nice emulsion that I always love. Uh, and then I'm gonna take the comb side of this little edge brush and just go ahead and start swooping. You can do your swoop as big or a little as you like. I know I'm talking to a bunch of black women that already know how to do their edges, but somebody asked me for a swoop tutorial, so I'm talking to her right now. Um, <laughs> but I just do what looks like good, I guess, I don't know. All right, I went ahead and did my brows while I was waiting, but I'm gonna just go ahead and slide this off. No lumps or bumps, are you kidding? Like y'all need to try this hat. It's a little stuck in my hair cause I tied it, but there we go. Like what? The stocking cap gets you so, or not stocking cap, stockings get you so flat. But I'm gonna take this back part out of the ponytail, go ahead and put some dry shampoo in it and 
we should be good. And then I'm gonna do the bun afterwards. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of spray the dry shampoo everywhere. Um, again, I'm not really targeting it to my scalp because it will really dry me out, but my hair is too oily to not have any dry shampoo. So I just kind of spray it in there. This one smells really, really, really good. Also, this one works really good. They just all dry my scalp out, but this one will have your silk press pressing again. It's um, by Heritage by Mindy Wingnight. Lazy Day Dry Shampoo. Smells amazing and works really, really, really good. So I'll just let it sit in there, kind of sort of fluff it out a little bit so it can just spread through the hair. But after that, I just comb it through and my hair is back flowy and like bouncy and everything. So it really works well, but they just all dry my scalp off, so I just can't with them. But like, look at that. You kidding? Like, look at that. Now that's a dry shampoo, if I've ever known one. All right, now I'm gonna do my little sponge. So the only thing I do is just wrap it around and leave the end kind of spiking out. If it don't work the first time, I'll do it again. So pretty much like that and just put the rubber band around it. If it doesn't work, like I said, I just redo it a million times. Um, I don't hate that, but I don't like how much is out up here. So I'm just gonna take this piece and just I think pin it in the back. And I think the rest will be good to go. All right, so this is the finished hair right here. Like I said, that dry shampoo really, really, really worked. I'm back to bouncy, um, back to body. But this is what it looks like in the back. If it looks bad, that's not my business, mind yours. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go live with the makeup now. live now that was a nice little live i feel like we haven't like gone live to do like a little makeup get ready with me in a minute so that was nice but let me show you my outfit oh i'm stepping on a dog toy stepping on a dog toy um jacket again i'm wearing that same jacket from the other day first of all i'm wearing this jacket a lot forever and ever and ever uh great quality jacket it was only like 90 dollars. it's from zara i'll put the code on the screen this crew neck is also from zara it has matching um pants i've worn the matching pants with this jacket before i've also worn the matching pants with the trench coat before but today i'm just wearing it with some jeans from zara and then my asics y'all told me to put these on on live and i'm also wearing my mini kensington from kurt geiger today so this is the fit and let's go just made it to the mall i'm actually on the hunt for like one thing now whatever else i find is not at like it ain't up to me i'm just the girl okay but i'm looking for a coat like the aritzia slouch coat it's like a single rested like long line type of jacket coat thing uh i'll show you a picture of it but that one is 400 dollars, and i don't think i'm willing to spend 400 dollars on a jacket because it's called a coat but in my opinion it's really a jacket um and like a super puff i'll i'll spend 400 on a super puff kind of already did but like a jacket a long line jacket for 400 dollars to me just sounds crazy you know like these jackets right here just like long with the collar like cutesy vibes i feel like that'll just be too cute to wear on like a normal day um but i just like these 400 dollars is crazy 400 is crazy right right i think so 
Um, but I'm on the hunt for one of those. And then whatever other sale items. Because I know Aritzia's sale is still going on. I actually just ordered a jogging suit and a t-shirt from them. Uh, the t-shirt got delivered today. And then the jogging suit will be here on Tuesday. So that should be here soon. And that was on sale too. I got those on real good sale. But I know the winter sale is still going on. So we're going to see what they have. And then... I definitely want to go to Primark because I haven't been there in a long time and I want to see what like cardigans and sweaters they have and they might even have the dupe for the um, slouch coat from Aritzia but let's go in and see. Also I'm meeting up with Selena today so let's go meet her. Yo isn't this so freaking cute? I kind of think I should buy it. I don't have this color bag at all and it's so freaking cute. It's like a shiny leather. I feel like this will go in my outfit it's so cute even today and I can get a lot of wear out of this y'all. Oh my gosh I have to buy this. I don't know where Selena is. I'm waiting on her to come down, but this is so cute. Hey, because the mall is packed for a Sunday, but we're about to go in Aritzia to see what they still have on sale. It says 40 to 60% off, so let's see. We're still in here. Yo, these are really cute, but these are all like mm, around 400. They have a lot over here too. But $400 to me on one of these is literally crazy, but I guess it's like real wool. I guess that makes sense. Um, that's really cute actually. Oh, this is the slouch coat that I was talking about. I like this one because the shoulders aren't like crazy built. Um, oh my gosh, wait, this is so cute. I should turn this on. All right, I found these three. These ones are 60% off. They're like a cargo type of cute tan white type of pant. Um, these ones are 50% off. These are Levi, I don't know which one is, Whitey Street. And then these, I don't know how much percent off these are the um I think these are the Arlo high-waisted ones from Denim Forum at Ritzy. These are 40% off, so let's try them on. I didn't or we didn't really find anything. I found a matching hoodie to the dark gray pants I got last week, but there was nothing really in there. I tried on those three pair of pants and they didn't fit me how I wanted them to. Um so now we're about to go to Primark and HM. HM really does have a good sale right now. I just want two jackets, two like little bomber jackets or like knit bomber jackets. They have a lot of stuff in here on sale. Not this, over there. So we're like digging through here. Take me back to Georgia, back to Atlanta. Money, how present and turn back. I might fly Priscilla out just for better. Don't mess my eyes by that ass. Y'all, I found the code that I was looking for, and this is the last one left. I am geeked. I don't know how much this is, but I'm buying it because it came with $400. But, like, look how freaking cute that is. I'm geeked. With my red bag, even with this outfit, eats. Zara definitely has a sale right now. Um, I found a lot of things. I got a black set, some pants. The freaking jeans are only $12.99 right now, y'all. I found a red shirt. It is too cute. Look how cute that is. Um, I think that's all I have right now. And a pair of, like, blue jeans, but I'm not trying to try this stuff on because I got too much going on. So, I think... I'm gonna just sacrifice these. But they are only $12.99. They're skinny jeans though, but they have a little bit of flair and a split leg in them. So I'm like, I might like that, but they look a little bit too small. So I'm just gonna put it back. All right, we finished. Oh my gosh, you know when you just get like so hot and sweaty in the mall because you got on your jacket and you carrying stuff. I'm like, out of breath. And you carrying stuff and you trying to like see if stuff gonna work for you, trying to hold it up to your body, but you already got bags in your hand. You're trying to vlog at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. So back, I mean, I'm back in the car now, and I am done. Like, first of all, I got some good stuff. It was all on sale, but got more than I even went in the mall for. But did get my coat. Mm -hmm. All right, it's four thirty-two. We finna go to the grocery store so I can get this food to cook it tonight. Oh my gosh! And I'm gonna show y'all what I got. What I got. All right, so everything is pretty much prepped here. I have some seasoned chicken, and then I flour with the season is on the top. I'm gonna be frying wings tonight because that's just what I want. Um, here are my macaroni noodles. I've already seasoned those. I never took this off, but I swear I run it through the dishwasher all the time. It's just it has never come off. Um, I already seasoned the noodles a little bit. I've chopped up my sweet potatoes. These are the seasonings I'm gonna use for my macaroni. The two cheeses, milk, um, butter. And then over here, my green beans are already going. These were the easiest thing to make, so I made them first. In a small like saucepan, I went ahead and put bell peppers, onions, a little seasoning, sauteed that, and then I added my green beans and some extra seasoning, and now these are like simmering. The most asked question is definitely about the macaroni, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make that. Um, I've already shown how I make my yams before on here, so I'll show y'all how I make my macaroni real quick. 
So first I'm gonna make a roux. So in my pan, I'm just melting some butter and then I'm gonna add a little bit of flour and mix it around. I don't make a lot of roux, just a little bit. Again, this is a vegan macaroni and cheese recipe, so do not come for me in the comments, okay? It is vegan. But uh, I don't need a huge roux. I just do something small. Uh, and again, I don't measure anything. So if you need to measure, then probably look up a recipe because I just do what my ancestors told me to do, okay? So after I create my roux, I just add a little bit of milk. And then this is Tony's. This is paprika. That is pepper. And this is garlic powder. I'm just going to mix that in there. And then when it starts to get a little bit warm, I'm just going to go ahead and add some cheese and start to melt it in here. And then after I add the cheese and melt it in there, I'm, by, I'm basically looking for like the perfect consistency for the cheese sauce, um, to my liking at least. So I'll add cheese and milk as needed. All right, so I went ahead and added my first cheese. Again, this is vegan cheese. Um, I used the Daya cheddar and mozzarella blend. Now Daya went ahead and changed their formula over like the last month and now it's made with oat cream. And I'm not like, I don't taste a huge difference, but I taste a small minute difference. So I might have to find me a new vegan cheese. Let me know if you eat vegan cheese and what is your favorite kind in the comments. But I don't know why they changed the formula because it was perfectly fine before. I don't understand why they're using oat cream now. But these are the two cheeses that I traditionally use. Um, so yeah, I'm just mixing it in. It melts pretty well, um, but I have it on pretty low so it doesn't like burn up or anything like that. Because vegan cheese can sometimes be tricky as far as like it melting. So I just go ahead and cook it pretty low. So this is the consistency that I like. Um, so this is about to sound weird, but somebody on TikTok actually told me to add a little bit of mustard to this vegan mac and cheese recipe because vegan cheese does not like come sharp. You know how people add sharp cheddar to mac and cheese? Um, mustard is just gonna sharpen it up a little bit. I don't mean a lot. I mean like just that much. Um, you're not supposed to be able to taste it, but it's supposed to be able to make a difference. And trust me, it makes a difference. I made this with and without the mustard and I promise you, it is literally like game changing for a vegan mac and cheese recipe. Now, if that sounds too crazy for you, then don't do it. But when I say it's good, it might sound weird, but it's so good. Plus, I also mix mustard in with my chicken when I'm frying it because it makes it so much better. Um, so this isn't that crazy for me. But I'm going to add a little bit more milk and then I'm going to start to pour this over my noodles here. So this is the consistency that I look for after adding a little bit more milk. So I'm going to take this over my noodles now. This is what we're looking like right now. The oven is set to 385. I don't know how long you're supposed to do this for. I just do it until it's done. And then I broil, broil it a little bit to get the top a little crispy. All right, now I have these yams going. So in this pot, I just melted some butter, added some brown sugar, some white sugar, some vanilla, and some cinnamon. I always add a little water to cut that sugar out just a little bit. Uh, I bring it to a boil, let my potatoes get soft, and then I'm gonna transfer them into an oven for them to bake for a while. All right, y'all, this is everything. Um, this is my first time making the mac and cheese with the new cheese recipe from Daya. Usually it would stick together more than this. So whatever they did to the recipe, it changed the way this definitely turned out. But hopefully it still tastes good. I didn't taste it yet. And then everything else is here. So let's eat. So I just finished dinner. But I don't, I mean, I didn't realize I did not show y'all what I got from the mall. Because when I came home, I ended up leaving my camera in my car. And... I just started prepping my food before I went back outside because it, it was just too cold. But uh, eventually I went back outside and then cooked. Now we're here, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got from the mall. But first I ordered this from Aritzia. I also ordered the hoodie and the sweatpants for this. Now I'm not gonna lie, online it looked a bit more like that Bottega green, not like this dark forest green. This is almost like the green I already have, but I guess it's okay because I ended up spilling bleach on that one anyways. But online, it looks so much brighter than this. I showed y'all earlier when I was in the car, and I promise it was brighter, like a brighter Bottega type of green than this. But I don't hate it. Um, but anyways, last week, was that last week? Yes, last week. Yeah, last week when I, I don't know, was that last week when I got that iMac? I think it was. Uh, I ended up getting these gray sweatpants from Ritzia, but I couldn't find the top. But today they had the top, so now I have a whole nother matching set. I'm very geeked about this. Um, both of them went full price, but I'm glad about this one. I got this one in a small, and I wanted to size up anyways. It just happened to be a small just sitting there, and this was the last one. That was not on sale, but still very much worth it. And then H&M, I ended up with this jacket. I actually really, really, really like this. It's like a bomber, but like whatever material that is, and it's like cream. I also got this like long street, long sleeve fitted stripe shirt. I think it's really cute. 
um especially with like some bombshell curls i feel like that would be cute i don't know why i'm thinking about that and then zara they had like the greatest sale ever i was talking about getting a red shirt and then selena held this up and i was like girl that's so cute it's a little cropped it's got a little bit of a mock neck i think and it's kind of sort of like either really thick cotton or like sweater material almost i think it's like really thick cotton it's pretty much like a t-shirt just with like a mock neck and just like really thick um also i spilled on myself when i was cooking so if you see that ignore it i also found this at zara i didn't know how i felt about this at first but it was only 15.99 so i'm like hmm it's just like a shirt but like the sides come like undone with clasps i'm gonna take it apart for y'all to see what i'm talking about and then the sleeves do the same thing so like you can undo the sides like that so they can be open like so like that and then you can do the exact same thing on the sleeve so it can be like an open sleeve slash open like waist i think it's kind of cute but for 15.99 you really couldn't leave that in store and then let me just lower the freaking camera and then i actually have this set in gray already it's just that i've never really worn it because i bought the jacket too big and i don't know I don't know, but I feel like I'm going to wear it in black. It wasn't on sale, but I've been thinking about black ever since I got gray, so I just went ahead and got black. Plus, the black pants are, like, super versatile to wear with something else, but they have that seam down the middle. I bought this, like, months ago in the gray, and I still never wore it. And then I got the jacket in a small this time, so hopefully I'll be cool to wear it. I know I'll wear it. It's black. Uh, the gray, I don't know if... I don't know what's wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with it, but I just haven't worn it. And then I found these for $12.99. Hopefully I can fit them because I didn't feel like trying them on. That was never going to happen. Um, and then I got this little cardigan. It's like a light pink color button up. I feel like this would be really cute tucked into a pair of jeans. Like that is just so cute. Um, I'll have to wear that for y'all to see the vision, I guess. And then y'all already saw the coat, but I'm going to put it on again because I still can't believe I found this. Like, girl... I know it's not wool, but it's still so super cute. I love it so much. It's exactly what I was looking for and it fits. Java's like jumping on me. And it All right, y'all, so that was it from the mall. I had a pretty nice day today. Um, very chill, relaxed Sunday. I feel like these are my favorite type of Sundays, like going shopping and then coming home to cook. I don't have work tomorrow, so I'm very excited for that. I'm like super chill, super laid out. I started this new show on Disney Plus called Secret Invasion. If you love Marvel movies and keep up with all of them, I would highly recommend it. If you like Marvel movies but don't keep up with all of them, I wouldn't recommend it just because like chronologically, you kind of need to know what's going on. But regardless of that, Java's right here and Juno's right here. I'm super excited for Java to start his training journey and just like become the happy confident well-behaved adult dog that i know he will be uh, i'm gonna continue to pray for him and ask god to give me grace and wisdom as i raise him but i'm very confident that he will turn into a good boy he's squeaking his toys so hopefully he's not waking y'all's dogs up but yeah i hope you all had an amazing week and an amazing weekend and until next time i'll see y'all